Most developers, including me, fall into these bad coding habits. And to be clear, these habits will slowly damage our progress as developers. That is why in this video, we will discuss a few habits that developers must fix to be able to become better and make their coding lives easier. Habit number one, copy pasting code without understanding it. We've all been there, stuck on a problem, found a solution on Stack Overflow, or even worse, asked ChatGPT to solve this problem. So we took the code, run it, and yeah, it works. But what is the issue? You miss the chance to actually learn and train your mind to think like a developer. So instead, when you copy paste, take your time and put in the effort in understanding the code. Read it line by line, use debugging techniques like a built-in debugger or print debugging to know how the code works. This makes you more a developer. Habit number two, writing zero comments. I know what you're going to say, a good developer writes code that is self-documented, and yeah exactly, functions with meaningful names, the variables are descriptive, and code is separated into files. But what I mean here is that, for example you have this function, that does whatever it does, and in two months you come back and you forgot what this function does. I've been there, and it is really painful and tiring to debug and go through the function again to remember what it does. So instead, write comments, but don't overflow your code with it. Keep it simple, keep it clean and well documented. Try to explain in simple terms what does this function do or what this variable is used for. It's like this, when you come back the next time, you'll read your comments and quickly grasp the idea of your code. That brings us to the next habit. You don't write descriptive and meaningful names. Names for functions, variables, classes and files must describe what they do. A variable name like x or y or customer name written in this way is hard to understand and maintain over time. Also function names that are weird like do this or get that. Well what does that mean? When you write a program it not only must be read by you but also will be read by your teammates. So keep variable names descriptive. This will help you and your team to know where to use this variable and what it is used for. Also, functions must have a verb in them, but also must be self-explanatory, like add element to database. Well, by the name of the function, any normal person can know that we want to add an element to a database. Habit number four, you completely avoid debugging. Debugging is when you trace your program line by line to detect bugs, fix errors, or understand how code works, which helps you modify it in the future. But sadly, some developers ignore how important debugging is and how it can make your life easier instead of complicated. I personally like to use a built-in debugger that comes with the IDE. You can put breakpoints on parts of your code you want to understand, use the watchlist to trace the value of each variable at each iteration, and you'll understand your code quicker than you imagine. There's also print debugging technique, where you insert print statements across your code. It helps a lot, but it overclutters your code. Either way, debugging is a skill every developer must master. Now I want to hear the last habit from you. What do you think is a bad habit that every developer does and we need to fix it? Make sure to comment your thoughts below. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.